Yo, how's everybody doing? It's the Hawking Regime here, and today coming at you guys with another Madden Player Creation tutorial video. I'm gonna be doing Denzel Ward of the Ohio State University projected first round cornerback, probably the top cornerback in this year's 2018 NFL Draft. When I'm bringing him to you guys today on the Oakland Raiders, there are a number of teams that people have projected him to go to. San Francisco 49ers and Chicago Bears were two others I noticed. Definitely would not like to see him team up as a nickel in San Francisco's defense along with Richard Sherman on the outside. So had him going to the other team in Northern California, which was the Oakland Raiders, and going to be, again, creating Denzel Ward and discussing a little bit of his impact he could have on the NFL regardless of what team he goes to. Now, if you look at some of the numbers he had on his scouting report and you just watched, and if you just watched the video I did on, on Josh Jackson, you would know that he actually had a better vertical and 40 time than Josh Jackson, a different type of player for certain. Jackson, about six foot, six foot one frame, 195 pounds, definitely a longer player, and still can get up and has tremendous ball skills like Denzel Ward has. But Denzel Ward, different body frame, about 5'11, 185. Uh, some NFL scouts I've heard predict him go, going into a nickel slot early on into his NFL career because of the size factor, and he did run a 4'3'2, so was top in the cornerback class and running that and just showing his athleticism there. Also, 39-inch vertical, which I believe was second out of the cornerback uh, class as well, which is pretty impressive out of a guy and shows his explosiveness not only um, to be able to run and, and mirror guys in coverage, but also have that explosiveness to jump up and contest balls uh, in the secondary and on deep passes. Had 15 passes defended in 2017, his junior season. In nine passes defended in 2016. So getting on into the creation of Denzel Ward actually in Madden. I did actually have a little bit of a, a problem selecting the faces. Unfortunately, they just don't have quite the amount of options that you would like to have in terms of hair and facial hair in the game to match what players really look like. So I had to make do uh, with what I thought looked best. But in terms of the actual equipment for Denzel Ward, kind of similar to Josh Jackson actually. Both had the shooter sleeves on both arms as you'll see coming up um, and, and one thing actually notable about Denzel Ward in terms of his player appearance and, and, and Ohio State fans can correct me if I'm wrong but I'm pretty certain he has a honey badger-esque eye paint on one side on the left side I believe and they don't allow you to have that one eye paint um, for some reason I thought they did I really believe that they did for some reason I, I, I honestly I, I really thought that it was implemented into Madden NFL 18's player creation options. Unfortunately, that's actually not the reality of the situation. So I just had to make do, and I think I went with just eye paint overall on both ends. And also with the helmet type, I actually may have made a mistake on Josh Jackson. It's not that big of a deal, but um, I think I ended up going, instead of going to the Riddell Speed Flex, which I probably should have, I think I went to with the 360. It doesn't matter too much, but I just didn't know you could get these two bars near the front kind of showing like you can with the Riddell Speed Flex. I didn't know that that was actually possible, so I uh, might have made a mistake there, but regardless, um, Denzel Ward is going to go with the clean visor and I believe the Riddell Speed Flex helmet. And we actually, and, and like I mentioned in my Josh Jackson video, and by the way, if you really, for whatever reason, want me to do a specific player, uh, just let me know via the comment section or if you really are into it, Go on to the Patreon link below and you can donate and, and get in contact with me there. And I'll obviously uh, put that at first priority. But on the Josh Jackson video that I did, I had him with the same. Oh, on the Josh Jackson video I did, I had numbers on him already in terms of player stats because he was a player that in our TF Go League, our that franchise guy online Madden franchise. When we drafted players that were computer made, we transferred them to real players. So the attributes are kind of there and they definitely in some way, shape or form mirror what this real player is and his numbers should be. So that's another help I had in, in creating his actual ratings. But finishing up the equipment section of the creation for Denzel Ward, I actually ended up looking pretty good in my opinion. I feel like uh, him looking in the Raider black and silver looks really nice and getting on into the actual ratings as always these are completely subjective so do as you please with these um didn't mean to rhyme there but he's gonna have great speed and acceleration 43240 
for a reason. Higher man than zone. Ohio State fans can argue about that. I don't. I didn't watch Denzel Ward play extensively in 2017 or in that you know for that matter his entire career in college. But it seemed to me he was just really exceptional in man coverage and being able to stick tight to his corner or his receivers. And one knock I've heard on Denzel Ward is the fact that he just hasn't been able to get his head around as much as he probably should. And, you know, it's funny. There's just been so many great defensive backs out of Ohio State being drafted into the NFL. Uh, Marshawn Lattimore, Gary on Conley last year, who actually was also for the Raiders. So it would be interesting if he joined his former teammate, Malik Hooker. Just so many really quality players that have turned out to be first-round draft picks that uh, Denzel Ward coming in, it doesn't really change anything up too much but again back in terms of man coverage and being able to turn around to the ball um, if you watch some highlights that is something you may notice is just him not reacting to the ball as much but definitely did make some plays on the ball in 2017 um and definitely would be a phenomenal nickel corner with his speed and athleticism so really interested to see what team he does get drafted by but that actually will be the conclusion of the video hopefully you guys enjoyed you know make sure to subscribe to the channel for more of these madden player creation tutorial videos as usual, leave a comment down below if you want me to do a specific player. And then, again, if you really, for whatever reason, are, are super into me doing one player or definitely want to get in contact with me to do a list of guys, then donate on Patreon and get in contact with me. And I'll definitely put you at priority number one. And that link will be in the description of this video. But once again, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And, yep, thanks for watching.